Oh, yeah. G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Currently just heading out the channel. We're at Lake Fines at the base of the Grampians in Victoria. Absolutely stunning lake. Lots of brown trout, lots of rainbow trout and plenty of reddies. So hopefully it's a bit of a mixed bag today. Um, we've got really good conditions. We're all set up, so let's see what we can do. is somewhere I've fished like a lot but I haven't been here for many years so I sort of thought I'd just have a bit of a cruise around um, check out like the, le the level's so different to last time I fished it it's a lot higher um, yeah cruise around maybe do a bit of sounding see if I can find a few fish and then start from there all right so picked a bit of a spot here um, just sort of out Sort of goes up into the flats here and we're sort of out on the drop off here. Um, we've got a couple of different options rigged to start with. So I've got a bait caster, this little Hakai, eight to, uh, four to eight kilo black mamba, seven foot stick. And I've got a quarter ounce um, chatterbait. And that's just got a little three inch minnow trailer, which I think looks really good. I went with white because the water's a bit tannin, so white in tannin's always a good choice. And then on, I've got a spin stick rigged. Um, this is just a two to four kilo, seven footer. Um, it is a black mamba as well. And uh, I've got on the end of that, I've got 10 pound liter, six pound braid, and then um, just a three inch slim swim in motor oil and one of the hot orange jig heads. On the bait caster, I've just got 20 pound braid and a 20 pound fluoro leader. So you do a bit of a cruise around, have a bit of a look at some trees and um, get a bit of a feel. Cause we've got the whole day ahead of us. Um, so yeah, and cause I haven't been here for so long, just be nice to have a bit of a look around first, I think. Got an out again. It's a good brownie behind it. Ah, oh, damn it. That was a nice sized trout. Must have just nipped the tail. Oh well, bit of action straight away moving up into the shallows. See him down there. Let's 
Surely they're going to be able to see that. Yep, got him. <laughs> so sick. And that's why the uh, having the active target on is so good because they obviously followed in the chatterbait. Oh, hey, hey. But being able to um, switch over to the plastic, it's not a big one, but still. We are on the board. Like a slightly better one, this one. Very nice. Just chucked it in the same spot. He's fighting good. Might actually net this one. They are an absolutely stunning fish. Beautiful. Hey, he's a good fish. Well, check him out. That's a really nice one. I'm gonna keep a few for dinner because these things are just so tasty to eat. That was cool, found a really good patch of them there. Just in between the weed pocket. Yeah, it's just that one big gap in the weed there. Actually seemed to like. Straight back into them. It feels like another good one. It is another good one. Oh, that's a really nice one. Very next cast. Just about getting back up into the spot. That's a ripping fish. Yeah. That's another chunk of a finds ready. Definitely got a patch from there. They've been absolutely smashing the slim swim with one of those new hot orange heads beautiful fish how's the bands on him so cool now that the sun's up and things are a bit brighter i'm just swapping that white chatterbait over to a black and blue one if i can get it on there straight it's amazing how much difference it makes if you get it on straight they swim so much better so not quite as stark as the white now that the sun's out Got him. Is that a fish? No. Oh, I thought it ticked over the weed and got nailed. Just thinking to myself, can't see any reason why you can't find a whopper sitting, like these edges are very, like they're quite hard and they're clear on the side of, side of them. So it's gotta be a prime piece of cover for them.
God damn. That was so sick. Oh, it's a rainbow. <laughs> I saw it cruising. Oh, it came off. <laughs> saw it cruising on active target and like pitched the cast out um, with the chatterbait, didn't get any response. And then um, was like, yep, <laughs> put the plastic on and I just saw it race over and smash it. It was awesome. It's good just having that extra set of eyes. It's got to be the reason why, like, there's some incredible fish in Lake Fines, but I think there's a lot of distance between the fish sometimes. So you just got to keep covering the water until you find one that's out and about. Bit of a wind change back on the other side now seems to be a few fish up and about like a few trout follow on that other side and hook that one one willing to eat it somewhere sick got any mates with you oh yeah there's a few mates with him he's a nice one they're so chunky and because the water's so clear they are just stunning colors beautiful such a fun fish to catch Super cool. How's the size of the mouth on them? Nice. <laughs> that was sick. Saw them hanging out a bit wider. Popped a cast out there and then straight onto it. It's not the biggest one. One. Chunk. Still chunky. the one that I wanted. Ah. I went back to the chatterbait because I thought 
I'm gonna catch a big ready. It's probably gonna be on the chatterbait, but you sort of exclude everything else. And one just followed it in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the chatterbait. So sick. Yeah. Oh. Ripper on the chatterbait. Just smashed it. So cool. I've been waiting for that chatterbait bite. Oh, finally got it. Right on that change of light on evening. Super stoked. Well, that has been a super fun, I'm gonna say three quarters of a day back on Lake Fines. Haven't fished here for years, so good to be back. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you all next time.